We really believe that all children have the ability to achieve and to manage their own behaviours and we're very aware that students have that responsibility often in the early childhood centre. Part of our thinking was wanting that smooth transition from a centre where they were very obviously self-regulated to the school setting. We had also done a huge amount of study into the value of play and we saw that that was the natural venue for students okay. to develop those skills. Can we do anything? Anything on the choices board for your group, darling? There's probably no such thing as just playing. We've all, as a team, done a lot of reading around the value of play and all that oral language and conversation that goes on and all that rehearsal of life skills that they can do during play and processing their world around them, and that's their work. I have a choices board on the wall, so that each group has three choices, but as the year's gone on, I've become much less hung up about them staying on those choices. They can choose whatever activities they like, but I start the year out like that so that we don't end up with eight children on one activity. But all the activities are very play-based and very open-ended. We have our class guidelines of sharing and using our words and working as a team, and they can just do their thing and then tidy up and pack up and move on to the next thing. We have to provide opportunities for students to develop resilience, their stamina, and their ability to persevere. Things like giving them skills to problem solve, that's a thing that will carry over into other learning. So there's a whole emphasis on the social and emotional well-being of the students and setting them up for those things before they're faced with academic tasks. Their play is very child-led and I really leave it up to them. Someone was playing dinosaurs yesterday and they'll be playing cats or cows crawling around and mooing. Wow! You ha have been so busy. Where is Mahara? There's usually a challenge set today. They had to make Mahara place in the train station. And what a good job they did. And you're the train, and this Riley. Is that road where the so you cars have to, go along. So you have to cross over the road to get yeah. to the train station. You do? Yep. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. So I have no doubt that this independence, which we certainly are doing in our reading sessions, feeds into these children becoming self-regulated learners in other areas. We're providing children with an appropriate and challenging environment so that within that they're making choices and feel strong ownership and I think that's why they've got the intensity, because they've had a lot of choice and ownership, and they are applying themselves. They're not doing a lot of stuff that's imposed on them. They're growing and learning hugely, but they're in control of their own learning. And play has been particularly successful for that.